the very first hymn that I was ever asked to write, a long time ago now, and the first of my hymns which went into the hymn book, into hymns ancient and modern and all of that, I used the sentence, it came from St. Mark's Gospel, as the very first sentence of the hymn of Jesus' coming into Galilee in his ministry. And the first time he spoke in St. Mark's Gospel in that ministry, he said, the kingdom is upon you. Repent and believe the gospel. Sorry, we've acquired a friend this morning. And that became the first line of a hymn. The kingdom is upon you, the voice of Jesus cries, fulfilling with its message the wisdom of the wise. It licens with fresh insight. All of those things came at that time, but I'm bound to say that first, in the eagerness to put that forward, I wrote, the kingdom is upon you, the voice of Jesus cries, confounding with its message the wisdom of the wise. And I remember the old Dean of Salisbury, Sidney Evans, saying, you are talking about the wisdom of this world, which of course is foolishness with God, but I think your hymn really means that Jesus' message is fulfilling that secret wisdom which has been given to God's prophets and those who were wisely looking forward to the coming of his kingdom. And so I went home and changed the word to what it stands now, fulfilling with its message the wisdom of the wise, the sense of ordinary life going on, a beautiful description of life, and he searches back in the scriptures to the days of Noah, he searches back to the days of Lot, he, he could have gone anywhere, but he describes the rhythmic quality of ordinary life and people expecting that really when they're in the middle of it <coughs> to go on forever, not expecting at any moment that something very different might happen to call them into a completely different vocation. And then that question which the disciples ask at the end. So, Lord, 